Yeah, thanks for hanging on for us, Richard. Uh, a clean sheet, first one in a while. How does that feel as a defender? Yeah, it feels great. Obviously, it's been a long time coming and um, I think we've been unfortunate at times not to get it with the displays that we put on. But, um, you know, as a defender, that's that's always a great feeling. So I'm happy to, to finally get that <laughs> ticked off. So, yeah, positive. Your head coach said it was the most complete performance of the season so far. Did it feel like that on the pitch? Yeah, I'd say so. It's very professional in the way that we uh, the way that we performed. Um, first half, we we said we needed to go out and set the tempo and and um, you know make that clear. Um, and we controlled the game exceptionally well and obviously got the two goals. Half time, we then kind of looked at it and said, okay, well we need to go and get more. So let's dominate again. We, we go again, set the tempo again in the second half, which is what we've done. And um, shame to not get more goals but like you say a professional display yeah, could have been a lot more there was some really good chances made in the second half better chances funnily enough than in the first half probably when you yeah. got the two goals down the right hand side um, as the right side of centre half today you'll be linking up with them all the time but you know Carl Roberts and Jaden Richardson today were a handful yeah it's um, it's a joy it's a joy to watch it's, it's nice for me especially I mean obviously I like to dribble with the ball and, uh, and run with it and it's almost nice to have a uh, that on my side knowing that okay well I've got those options there that will do exactly the same thing um, and execute it exceptionally well and obviously you can see down the right side um, you can see it today first half and second half the amount of times when we get down the side we end up into the six yard box so we, we broke the line and, and they were they struggled to deal with it um, for the whole game I'd say so that's again another positive to see. Um, so far as at the back there you've kind of moved in from playing on the right-hand side as a right fullback, now finding yourself then in the right-hand side of a three-man at the back and now just as a kind of stereotypical right-sided centre-half. Yeah. What are the, the intricacies, what are the differences between those different positions? Well, when the, when the gaffer first put me into that position, um, playing right centre-back with three at the back, um, and even with this type of formation, it, we, we sat down, even in the summer we sat down, we looked at, um, the likes of Kyle Walker who played in that position, um, right centre back and in a more central position and, and to drive out with it and to be more of a modern ball playing centre back. So that's what he wanted me to do and um, he showed me exactly, you know, like I say from pre-season, the videos and what he felt I was capable of and I looked at it and I said, OK, well, we'll see how it goes. And yeah, nearly, uh, well, halfway through the season and I'm, I'm still uh, playing that position and enjoying it exceptionally well. So, you know, I'm growing in that position, getting better and better. It's my, my first season there and uh, I've enjoyed it so far. How much work goes into making a transition like that at the stage of your career that you're in when you've played out on the right-hand side so much for, for, for much of the rest of it? I mean, I, I'm, quite, uh, I'm quite good at being adaptable, you could say. Um, I can play in many different positions and it's, it's I always feel like it's more so up here than, than it is down there. So I try and think about the game and be smart about my positioning. Um, but you know, the way that we play suits me down to the ground in, in terms of if it was a typical, just kick it long um, and just head balls, that, that wouldn't suit me at all. So the, the gaffer knows that I'm there to, to play the ball and, and play with my feet and uh, you know cause problems and cause the strikers problems to kind of run backwards. So um, that's what I do. And uh, like I said, I'm, I'm enjoying it well, but Again, I wouldn't say it's a massive difference. It's just the small tweaks of um, just playing a little bit more centrally rather than just running down the channel. So it's not a massive change, but um, you know, like I say, the gaff has been brilliant. Um, the analysis has been brilliant. Show me videos of how to play that position and the position inside of it, which which makes my job a lot easier to execute. Nice to exercise some of the frustration from another wasted trip to the South Coast on Tuesday. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, you know the the. The travels, especially when they're postponed, it's hard to take. So, um, yeah, obviously with these games, we'll, we'll, we'll do what we can and prepare properly, uh, which we've always done. Uh, another game to prepare for, another travel. Um, and, yeah, we'll, we'll do what we need to do, put a professional display on. You look like you're in a, a good run of form at the moment as a team, as individuals as well. Next month's going to be tough. We go Saturday, Tuesday until the end of the season almost, it feels like, um, just like last year again. Um, and March is going to be tough. You're playing a lot of them teams that are right there around you with expectations or at least hopes of getting promoted or finishing in the playoffs. How big of a month is it? How important is it that you maintain momentum through the next week and get into that month? I think it's... Um Coming around to this period, it's very, very important. You know, this is kind of uh, where you start to see um, the, the gaps appear. And uh, I think a lot of people will be looking at the table over the past two months, maybe, and say that, um, you know, it's not, we're not quite where we want to be. But, 
in a way that the the league table is a bit false with the games being postponed and whatnot. There's a lot of games in hand, and it's you know that's kind of been the situation over the past two months. So um, we are now at the business end of the season, and obviously, like I say, we'll, we'll start to see, and it's just a case of now um, preparing for a very very important month coming up um, with some busy fixtures and some big fixtures. Every game is, is big and important to us. We want to win everywhere we go. Um, but we know that these up and coming games will, uh, will be, um, be real tests, so we must be prepared.